Francisco 49ers. Here's the Australian born punter Mitch Wisnowski to get things going. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. If you're on Twitch, hit that follow button. Turn me up. All you gotta do is say yes. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Rolling to his right. The got his man complete. Down the sideline it goes. And all the way in for the Kansas City touchdown. Kadarius Tony, 75 yards. And the Chiefs are on the board first here this afternoon. Wow, first play of the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate line. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, he spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like he goes right out the window. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 18. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that is incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Here's second and ten. Here's a first and ten at the 38. Back to throw, Purdy. Here in this first quarter. 
There's Purdy on first and 10. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Purdy. Under pressure, they got him again. They overload him that time with a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. So now make that a second sack for them on this drive. And Brandon, we hear it every week when we go out to do a game. Everyone talks about playing complimentary football. Their offense goes down and scores. They see that, and they want to back them up, and that they did, getting two sacks on this first drive. And the pressure gets to him again. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play time. Touchdown for the Niners. the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Jake Moody now for the point after. And oh, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last time that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. This second and four. Mahomes now to throw. Eyes the cross and rather hits Watson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive, and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw. They went through two-minute drill, and they went through all the different situations. The ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. From the gun, it's Mahomes. 
pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. Two yards on the pickup there, and it's second down. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. As they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Now Mahomes. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 17-yard line. So for the 17 now, here's a first and 10. A quick throw caught by Rice. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. Quick throw caught out wide by Valdez Scantling. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. And they are able to add on to their advantage. As a former defender, I would be angry as well. Could not get off the field. Well executed offensive drive. No matter what the defense tried, they couldn't stop them. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two point try. Tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Purdy. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now it's second and ten. Here's Purdy. I thought about what my coaches have told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. now going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Second and 10. 
So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And he'll find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. So now first and ten in Chiefs territory at the 48-yard line. Purdy looking to throw. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Second and ten. Shotgun now with Purdy. This will be caught at Samuel. Touchdown for the Niners. Debo Samuel with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the 49ers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Purdy and the Niners offense, they'll stay on the field. They'll try to go for two here. They'll look to throw. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. This is of about four yards. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Touchdowns on back-to-back -to -back drives. So a very good flow right now offensively. Hard to slow them down, too, because they are locked in. Feel like the offense coordinator is a little bit ahead of the defensive guys right now. They're beating them to the punch with their play calls. They've got a nice rhythm they're locked into. How can the defensive guys come up with something that will disrupt that flow? That's what they're seeking right now. Well, it's been an exciting sequence to watch. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. First and ten, it's Edwards alone with it. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The Chiefs will try and get to the line quickly. And that one caught by Rice. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. First down now, but that clock rolling. Got it open there, and it's Valdez Scantler. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. They'll run here with Pacheco, and he is going to lose yardage here. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. 
Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary? That's what we just saw, isn't it? their three red zone trips so far they've come up empty on they'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal throwing now is Mahomes and that is caught touchdown Kansas City Isaiah Pacheco a seven yard touchdown grab and the Chiefs will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball, or are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary, or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they can continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. Andy Reid now. Never one to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. And here's Edwards Alaire. And he will find the end zone here. And the lead moves up to seven. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Play action, now Purdy. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. And that's caught downfield by Kidder. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So here's a first and ten now, down inside the 20. Purdy now to throw off the play action. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Oh, my. You know that that's one that he'll want to have back. I mean, they did everything right. Got the linebackers commit on the play action. He just flat out missed. 
And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Final play of the half, Purdy. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. And from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now he's getting the ball to start the second half. The offense that you already referenced in the first half. They'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is, that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But if the strong safety position end up making the tackle, oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And McCaffrey going to pick up a Niners first down as the tackle made at the 31-yard line. Birdie off the play fake. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. They go play action here. Birdie sliding out of the pocket. And throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have a look at it, third and ten. Throwing here, Purdy. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Fourth down try, here's Purdy. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. Back to throw, Purdy. 
to the goal line, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? Purdy now to throw. It's caught. Yeah, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run out. Looking to throw. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sat back at the five-yard line. A nightmare on Thayers broke through the line to get him. Well, they're going to try this. They need five full yards to hit the end zone here on fourth and goal, but they're going for it. Purdy. And he's brought down. Can't do it. He's out of here.